These three players are about to take on an opponent who is notoriously unpredictable. What does the machine have in store for us today? We're about to find out on Tipping Point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Cheryl, a fitness professional from Reading. I'm Simon, a brewer from Bristol. And I'm Eileen, an online training manager from Yorkshire. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine would add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counts, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. Should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. OK, everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. When referring to makeup, a spoolie brush is typically used to comb through, blend and shape which short hairs above the eye? Simon. Eyebrows. It is the eyebrows, yes. Uh, Simon, are you going to play or are you going to pass this one? Uh, I think I'll pass it. To Cheryl or to Eileen? Uh, pass it to Cheryl. Right, Cheryl. Let's get started in the machine, see if we can get you some money. Where do you want to go? Um, can I go drop zone four, please, Ben? You can. Let's have four. <laughs> Quick drop. Nice settle for you there, Cheryl. Over on that side. Can be a good spot for the first one. And flip over, get yes. One. Is that... Counter going to go and the corner. Nice. Very close to going, Cheryl, but it's going to stay in, I'm afraid. So nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. Andy Robertson, Craig Gordon, and Scott McTominay were all named as part of the squad representing which country of the UK at the UEFA Euro 2020 tournament? Simon. Scotland. It is Scotland, yes. You're going to play Simon this time, or are you going to uh, pass again? Well, it's getting closer to the edge. But I think I'll pass it to Eileen. Eileen! Right, come on then, Eileen. Where are we going to go? Drop zone four, please. Let's have drop zone four, please. Here we go. Go to the right, please. Go to the right. Busy draw. No. Settled Rock nicely side. for you there. Can we get a couple over? Come on, Eileen. Yes. Could be good. Oh. Ow! Oh. You got Cheryl's oh. little one. Oh. That dropped in. And you've set a few more up. £50 for that black counter, though. We can give you that, Eileen. Well done. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank, get you off the mark, and you've still got two counters left. Thank you. Here's your next question. In April 2021, an archaeologist discovered a fossilised footprint of which now-extinct reptile on a beach in Yorkshire? Simon. T-Rex. It wasn't a T-Rex, I'm afraid. It was dinosaur we were looking for. In fact, it was a Megalosaurus. Oh. But we would have accepted dinosaur, but okay. it just wasn't sure. a T-Rex, I'm afraid, Simon. But to steal a counter from you, that's going into the penalty spot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. Got two more to play, Simon. Here's your next question. In 1911, art thief Vincenzo Perugia famously stole which Leonardo da Vinci painting? Eileen. Mona Lisa. Currently housed at the Louvre. It was the Mona Lisa, Eileen. Yes. Right. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'd like to play, please, Ben. Where should we go? Drop zone four is looking very attractive, so I'll try drop zone four, please. Come on then, Eileen. Fire up drop zone four. <laughs> Settles really nicely. The tipping point is oh. very strong. That's where your last one went as well, I think, isn't it? It is. Couple here. Oh, there's one that drops in. That's how close that was to going. Yes! Oh, excellent. Come on. Lovely. Eight counters, Eileen, including the one that jumped out of the machine. £400. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It puts you on £450. Very nice. Here comes your next question. When referring to fuel economy, the letter G in the motoring abbreviation, Simon. Gallon. MPG typically stands for which imperial unit of volume? It is gallon. Right, Simon, you're going to play. Drop zone four, please. Let's ben. do it. Fire up four, please. OK, 
Okay, that could be good, do you think? I think so, yeah. There's some stuff in the middle on the that top. That little stack, so. yeah, in the middle. A couple of then shift. Looks good, I think. And nice. it is good. Oh. Well done. Six counters for you. £300. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Gets you off the mark, Simon. And you've got one counter still to play. Here's your next question. An exhibition at Kensington Palace that opened in June 2021 includes an iconic wedding dress with a 25-foot train worn by which bride? Cheryl. Princess Diana. During her wedding to Prince Charles in 1981, it was Princess Diana, yes. Right, do you want to play or do you want to pass? I think I'm going to mix it up and uh, head to the other side and go drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Time for a change. Down, drop zone one, let's see. Here we go, Cheryl. Rampant drop and quick settle. Can we get that silver one through underneath? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh Gerald, close no. again. No, no, no. Just shuffle the top shelf. Mm. Everyone has one counter left. Here's your next question. The name of which alcoholic drink is also used to denote the left side of a ship? Gerald. Port. It is on the port side, of course. Right, do you want to play again or would you like Simon to play his or Eileen to play her last counter? Uh, no, I think I'll go with drop zone one again. Drop zone one it is. Let's see if we can get it to pay out here, Cheryl. Need to get you in the game. Ooh, Ooh didn't want to settle. Hopefully not riding. What do you think, Cheryl? I think it'll go flat, hopefully. It is, yeah. Question is, is anything going over the top shelf? Yeah, I might not have that double, but... I'm not sure. Ooh, yes, oh, yes, nice. Hopefully it'll push a few through. It oh. does. <laughs> Shoves them through, but not over, unfortunately, Cheryl. You have just set up the tipping point very nicely. Unfortunately, that was your third and final counter. There's nothing in the bank for the time being. You are out. Right, Simon and Eileen. It's just the two of you left in. Here's your next question. Vancouver Island is part of which North American country? Eileen. Canada. It is. Yes, well done, Eileen. Right. Do you want to play, Eileen? Drop zone one, please. Fire it up, please. Drop zone one for Eileen. It looks good, doesn't it, Eileen, down the bottom it shelf? It does. Just getting something over the top, hopefully. Can we get those silver counters over the top? Yeah, there you go. And a big drop coming here. Oh, a few of them did drop nicely. <gasps> Five counters. £250 for you. When we take that from the machine, we put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £700. That puts you on the lead. That's all three of your counters used now, though, Eileen. So, for the time being, you are out. Right, Simon, it's just you, because it's yep. just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put it into the machine. Sure. Here we go, then, Simon. In E.B. White's children's book, Charlotte's Web, what type of large mouse-like rodent is Templeton? Chinchilla. <laughs> Not a chinchilla. That's a great answer to dig out from somewhere. <laughs> a Templeton is a rat. So I'm afraid we have to steal <laughs> that counter from you. That's got into the penalty pot. So, as things stand, Eileen is leading with £700. Simon has £300. Cheryl's got nothing in the bank. But it's not over, because we have two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put both these counters in. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word complicated? Simon. Five. There's four, Simon, I'm afraid. C-O-M-P-L-I-C-A-T-E-D, complicated. I'm afraid we have to freeze you out, Simon. Sure. Cheryl, Eileen, another penalty pot question for the two of you. In the titles of two plays by William Shakespeare, what royal title comes before John and Leah? Eileen. King. King John and King Leah is absolutely right. Well done, Eileen. You get both these counters. Where should we put them? Drop zone one, please. Let's do it. Come on, Eileen. Drop zone one. Oh, that's mm. not good. If it goes flat, it could yeah. work. It is flat. Now, yeah. can you get good. enough of a shove to get those counters under the mystery forward? Yeah. Or are they going to just get pinned? Oh, they're oh. okay. Yeah, this might work for you, Eileen. Oh. Yeah, nicely done. Five counters, £250. Very nice start. And you've got one more to go in, Eileen. There's some overhang on drop zone three, so I'm going to take my chances there, I think, please. Let's do it. Oh, drop zone three, please. I hope it goes to the right. Oh, well. <laughs> Might work for you. 
if we get something over the top. Uh, Not no. this time, no. They're just going to sit and mind. wait. Two hundred fifty pounds is still very nice from that first penalty pot. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Eileen is leading with nine hundred and fifty pounds. Simon has three hundred pounds. Cheryl has got nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our ten thousand pound jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Cheryl, Simon and Eileen are all battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, the leech have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Eileen, you are leading after a great performance in round one, which means you can choose. You can play first if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask Cheryl or Simon to play. I think the machine looks OK, so I'm going first, please, Ben. All right, 45 seconds for you, Eileen. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Eileen, please. Your time starts now. Made by deep frying dough, Donuts are traditionally dusted with what sweet crystalline substance? Sugar. Correct. On a standard Scrabble board, what primary colour are the triple word score squares? Red. Correct. Released in 2021, Life by Misadventure is the second UK number one album by which English singer-songwriter? Pass. Rag and Bow Man. At the end of the 2020-2021 football season, which team finished bottom of the Scottish Premiership table? Pass. Hamilton Academicals. According to the common phrase, absence is said to make which blood-pumping organ of the body grow fonder? Oh. Correct. Mount Everest is the highest peak in which Asian mountain range? Himalayas. Correct. Which James Joyce novel features the characters Leopold and Molly Bloom? Uh, pass. Ulysses. In series two of which ITV drama that first aired in 2018 does Catherine Kelly play former English teacher Sally Wright? No. It's called Innocence. Ah. Uh, four correct answers in there, Eileen. OK. So four isn't too bad at all. It's a good return and a chance to try and get a little bit more money from this machine of ours. Where do you fancy starting? Drop zone three, please. Come on, Eileen, drop zone three, please. Just where I wanted it. It looks good for the mystery. Is the it top does. shelf ready that yeah, side? Yeah, it's a bit tight there, isn't good it? Good squeeze, come on. Oh. Yeah, just, yes. Might nudge Let's it forwards. Look. Little nudge. Oh. Feels again. Okay. Three more to go, Eileen. Drop zone three again, please, Ben. Step three, please. Ooh, smooth Ooh. finish there. That's nice. <laughs> I like that side there, Eileen. There's a it lot on the top good, shelf that could get a little help. Ah, that looks Let's better. Play. Ooh, those ones in the middle could go. Oh. Now, keep an eye on that oh, top not shelf. Quite. Is that black and silver counter. I think they may just be being pinned a bit too tightly. Two counters drop in, though. Let's give you £100, Eileen, for those two. Two more to go in. Where do you want to go next? Um, I'm going to stick with drop zone three, please. Let's stay with three. More action here for drop zone three. Yeah, that could oh, dislodge that could those two that are dangling. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, nicely done. They separate as well. Nice. Come on, Eileen. Lovely stuff. 12 more across the tipping point for you there, Riley. £600. Takes you up to 700 in the machine. Very nice. And you've got a prize as well, which is a boozy brunch afternoon tea picnic hamper, courtesy of Piglet's Pantry. Oh, lovely. That sounds Thank fab, you. doesn't it? And you've got one more count to put in as well. Where should we go with this one? I'm going to stick with drop zone three and hope it goes to the left. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. Can we get it down that left-hand side? Ah, Never no. mind. Going to fill that gap, I think, isn't it? It is. Left it set up for Little someone else. nudge on that pair of under the double, but they oh, just no. dropped. Oh. Too late. Too deep, sadly. <sighs> Nothing changes. £700, though, Eileen. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you on £1,650. Very nicely done. Thank you. Right, Simon, you are ahead of Cheryl. So, you can choose. Would you like to play next or would you like Cheryl to play? I think I'll play next and have to go for that double on the... The bottom shelf, I think. OK, here we go. Up. 45 seconds for Simon, please. Your time starts now. The fictional wizarding village Hogsmeade features in which popular film franchise? Harry based... Potter. Correct. The world-famous Prado Museum is located in which Spanish capital city? Madrid. Correct. Tidal Wave, Colossus and the Swarm. Thor Park. Correct. Which former Labour MP won the 2020 BAFTA Television Award for leading actress? Pass. Glenda Jackson. 
Produced in France, Sancerre is a variety of which Wine. alcoholic? Correct. The 19th century US president known as the Great Emancipator was Abraham who? Lincoln. Correct. The mountainous German region called Schwarzwald is better known by what name in English? Black Forest. Correct. Which US rapper teamed up with the Spanish producer Hume on the 2021 UK top 10 hit Goosebumps? Pass. Travis Scott. In 2009, Darren Goff became a regular co-host of the Drive Time Show on which sports radio station? Uh, Five Live. Talk Sports. Six well correct answers, Simon. Very nicely done. Not a chin chiller in sight either. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Sensational performance. Six counters, a really good return, so very well done. Now, where do you fancy starting? Drop zone one, going for the double. One up, please. What can we get here? So we need the double, hopefully with a few others. Ooh, oh, seven. Oh, no, no I Simon. That was a bit of a kamikaze drop. Not your fault. Timing-wise, that was fine. It just threw mm. itself out and it's riding. So, still got five more to go. One again? Yes, so please. Yeah, drop zone one, please, Ben. One up, please. Yeah. The opposite. Flat, just the opposite. Flat. Might get right, some of those two. counters in drop zone two that look pretty good. Go on. One sneaks in and you're nudging them forward. So, let's give you 50 pounds for that one. Where next? Uh, drop zone one again, please, Ben. Stay with drop Still zone one, please. Still trying to get to the left. Mm. Oh, Not like you need. Won't go left for it's you yet. Ride as well. But that's okay, because if you can bring that mystery down, okay. it could spread nicely. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh don't now, on don't go. Oh, oh Simon, Simon, hard luck. Did all the hard work with the answering the questions and the counters just aren't behaving. You've got three more still to go. Uh, drop zone one again, please, Stay with one, please. <laughs> OK, well, so... Well, this is not riding. It's not riding, it's flat. Is the top shelf going to go, though? I'm not sure. Just, Come yes. on. And then going here. <laughs> it's well done. Four more for you, Simon. £200 takes you £250. And you've got your hands on a mystery prize as well. You've won a spa day for two people, courtesy of sparbreaks.com. That'd be great. My girlfriend's always wanted to go on Lovely one. stuff. You've got two more to go in, Simon. Still trying to get at that double, or are you going to change up? Uh, no, I'm sticking to drop zone one, please. One again. Surely we've got to get one on the left at some point. It's closer. Actually, that could be there. a nice spot because we want the double to go with a few others. If it's going to go, might get sure. <laughs> so you got one more count to put in. A drop zone one again, please. Let's ben. do it. Fire up one, please. Five counters in. Only five have come out so far. Can we get that double with this drop? Oh, I don't think so. What happens here? You need some serious lateral if it's going to go. Oh, oh, there, might that's get it. Lucky. Did it make it? Is it going to go? Yes, it is. <laughs> well done, Simon. Four more in the end, Simon, so another £200. But you did get your hands on the double, so we can give you another £200 and double it up. So 400 in total. So that'll take your total to £650. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £950. Right, Cheryl, we come to you. 45 seconds for Cheryl, please. Your time starts now. Mayo is a common short form name for Mayonnaise. Which... Correct. Which hinge joint between the thigh and the lower leg Knee. is the Correct. Which actress plays Detective Mare Sheehan in the 2021 Kate Winslet? Which English author wrote the 1722 novel Mole Flanders? Pass. Daniel Defoe. Brummy is a term typically Birmingham. used. Correct. Released in 1933, Son of Kong is a sequel to which classic film? King about... Kong. Correct. In April 2021, The Weeknd released a remix of his song Save Your Tears featuring vocals from which US Ariana singer? Ariana Grande. Correct. In the metric system, a megameter is a unit of length that is equal to how many metres? 100. One million. Prior to 1991, what was the full name of the communications company now known as BT? British Telecom. Correct. A monkey gland cocktail typically contains gin. It doesn't sound like the most attractive cocktail, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, but I'm going to keep going. We're out of time. A monkey gland cocktail typically contains gin, absinthe, grenadine, syrup, and the juice of which citrus fruit, did you know? Lemon. It's orange. Yeah, the lemon would be too far. <laughs> uh, again, Cheryl, six correct answers, like Simon. Fantastic stuff, really well done. Uh, you've got a King Kong task ahead of you here, I to know. be honest, Cheryl. <laughs>
but you've got six counters. There's a double on the top shelf of Drop Zone 2, which hasn't been used yet. All or nothing, I think, at this point now. Yeah, Drop Zone 2? Yeah, Drop Zone 2, please. Maybe that, please. Perfect. OK, so nice and flat, which is great. It's 19 counters is what we're after. Just a few, then. <laughs> it is a few, but a with few. six, you can do it, and especially in a drop zone that's not being used. And that's Just one would be nice at this yeah. <laughs> There's loads on the bottom, that's obviously. Yeah. Two again? Yes, please, two, please. Let's two. Perfect, if it keeps going that. Yeah, similar spot, isn't it? Hopefully it goes right a little bit. Nothing from that, I'm afraid. Two again? Yes, please, drop zone two, up, please, Ben. Mm. Hopefully there's so a few on the top there. a few there. laterally Hopefully. from one as well would be good. Go on now, go on now, go on now, go on now. Yes, there Ooh. you go, that's drop zone one helping you out. Ooh. We started to collect some money. Two counters drop in. Let's give you £100 for those two, Gerald. Three more to go in. Staying with drop zone two? Yes, please, drop zone two. Two again, please. Feels like there's something big coming. Get flat, get flat, get flat. Hopefully, oh, get those. And we need them to oh, spread now, good. Gerald. Fingers crossed. One more now. Oh, wow. That's Better. asking to go now. Ten more there, Gerald. £500 drops in. You're getting closer and closer. 600 in the machine. We need seven to catch Simon. I'm going to stay with drop zone two, please, Ben. Two again, please. A bit further right feels like where it's going to happen, isn't it? I need that double now. Oh, it's all Stay going left. That's left. okay. That's all right. Is it going to fill There's a gap? There's still a few there. Mmm, does just fill a gap. Oh, mm. Gerald, it comes down to this last drop. Simon's clinging on here. <laughs> Can you make this work? Drop zone two. Yes, please. Load drop zone two. Take your time here. Let's get this down and flat. Just sort of centre or right of centre would be nice. Oh, it didn't oh, want to set right. Oh, it wouldn't, would it? Hopefully it'll stay flat. That'd be perfect. <gasps> oh, it is flat, yes. Good. Now, can you get enough of a squeeze to shift that? Fingers stack crossed. is going to be heavy. It's going to be really heavy. Oh, oh nice, nice, one. nice, nice, nice one. one. Is this it? You need seven. Wow. Ooh. This is going to be close. <laughs> Cheryl, you needed seven more to catch Simon. That's seven more across the tipping point. £350 <laughs> drops in. You get £950, let's put it into your bank and we see just what it's done to the scores. Eileen, you're safe. You've got £1,650. Both Simon and Cheryl, you have £950 each. So it comes down to sudden death. Only one of you can join Eileen in the head-to-head. -head. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you'll go through. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, your opponent will go through, OK? Best of luck to both of you. Here comes your sudden death question. The National Kiwi Hatchery is a conservation organisation located in which Antipodean, Cheryl? New Zealand. Country. It is New Zealand, Cheryl. Well done, you. I was waiting, I was waiting oh, for sitting your country. Sudden death. <laughs> nice. Just too quick for Simon, I'm afraid. Simon, sadly, that means we're going to lose you. We have come to the end of the round. It is Eileen who is leading with £1,650. Cheryl sneaks through on sudden death with £950. Simon, I'm afraid that means with your £950, we have found your tin point. Of course, you did win your spa break, Simon. I'm looking forward to that now after that. Thanks so much for playing. Well done, Simon. Thank you very much. Cheers. So it is Cheryl and Eileen who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Cheryl and Eileen. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. You've battled back brilliantly there, Cheryl. Fantastic comeback in that last round. Bit of work still to do to try and close the gap on Eileen, but look at all that money that's still there in the machine. Tons of counters ready for one of you to get your hands on, and either one of you could well be playing for our jackpot. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. Uh, Eileen, as you're still leading, you get to choose. Would you like the first question? Or would you like to offer it to Cheryl? I think I'll take the first question, please. OK, Eileen, first one for you. 
The Tar Desert is a dry, arid region that forms a natural border between Pakistan and which other Asian country? You can pass this to Cheryl if you're not sure. I think I'll answer the question. You're going to go for it? I'm not sure. OK. But I would guess at India. You're going with India, all right. If Eileen had passed this over, Cheryl, what might you have said? I was thinking India as well. You I might have gone India as well. Closest point, yeah. OK, let's see if you're right. The Tar Desert. It's a dry, arid region. It forms a natural border, is it, between Pakistan and India? Yes. yes. Also known as the Great Indian Desert. Ah. Lovely stuff, Eileen. Great answer. All right. You get the counter. Where should we go? Drop zone three, I think, and hope it goes towards the left-hand side. Yeah, interesting. Let's have drop zone three, please. Just avoid the middle. No, the other left. <laughs> <laughs> Is anything going to go uh, over that's here? That's not so good. Silver one will drop down. One. You might get that couple from drop zone four. Oh, you no. might not. OK. Hmm. Right, oh. Cheryl, we come to you. Time for your first question. With four gold medals and one silver as of May 2021, who is the most successful Olympic sailor of all time? I'm normally quite good with sports, but sailing isn't my forte, so I think I'm going to pass this one over. Passing it over? Right then, Eileen. Do you like your sport? I do, and I love the Olympics. So I'm going to say Ben Ainsley. You're going with Ben yeah. Ainsley. Cheryl, does that ring any bells? Yeah, it does now. She said it. Now yeah. she said it. This could be a great steal for you, Eileen. Is the answer Ben Ainsley? It is, Sir Ben. You're absolutely right. Well done, Eileen. Thank you. Right, let's get you some money. Drop zone four's looking a little better now, so I think I'll try there, please. All right, let's try drop zone four. Lots of options, isn't there, available? That's there an interesting are at thing. the moment. Oh, the other side would have been better, but <laughs> yeah, never let's mind. Let's see what we can bring down if we can. Yeah, nice oh, stash over the top in the corner. Well done. Can I get you any here? Oh. Yes, three counters dropped for you, Eileen. Yeah. 150 pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on 1,800 pounds. You Thank keep you. control, Eileen, as well. Time for your second question. In which Netflix TV series do Ralph Macchio and William Zabka play adult versions of their characters from The Karate Kid? I have absolutely no idea whatsoever, so I'm going to pass to Cheryl. Right, Cheryl, Netflix TV series. Have you seen it? I'm kicking myself because my son has watched every single episode and it is literally on the tip of my tongue what the series is called. I think I've got it. I think I'm not going to answer it yet. It's coming to me. What is it? Cobra Kai. Going with Cobra Kai. Eileen, does that ring any bells? No, not at all. <laughs> Let's see if you've dug out the right answer. Is it Cobra Kai? Yeah, well, well done. I would not have well lived that down going home if I'd have got that wrong. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> well done. Right, let's see if we can get you some money. Drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone two for Cheryl, please. Looking for it on the right. It's sparse on the left, isn't it, the top shelf? Still eyeing up that double. Hopefully it stays right. Perfect. <laughs> That would be brilliant, yeah. Right-ish, isn't it? Is the silver one going to go alongside the double? Hopefully it slides up. God! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the machine is teasing. It's a little bit of a wriggle and a wobble on it. Nothing from that drop for you. You keep control, though. Time for your second question. In terms of age at the time of their first inauguration, who is the youngest person ever to have become president of the United States of America? You can play off passes. Oh. They did finally fall. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. That was what I needed, that. <laughs> Sadly, those counters have fallen, Cheryl. Unfortunately, you were out of play, so they'll all have to be voided from the machine, I'm afraid. Let's go back to the question, Cheryl. In terms of age at the time of their first inauguration, who is the youngest person ever to have become president of the United States? I've got two names in my head, but I'm not 100% sure which one it is. But I also think Eileen might know it. So, I think I'm going to risk it and play. So, what are your two names? Uh, I've got Barack Obama and JFK. OK. And so, so, I think I'm going to go, go with JFK. You're going with JFK? No, you could have passed this. Eileen, did you have any ideas? I would have said John F. Kennedy. You would have gone JFK as well. Let's see if you're right, Cheryl. You really need this counter. Is the answer JFK? No, oh. it's not, and it's not Obama. Oh, no. It was Theodore Roosevelt. OK. Oh, right. uh, JFK was the second youngest, okay. but Roosevelt was 42 years old and 322 days when he entered office. So, Eileen, you get the counter. Where should we put it? 
drop zone three, please, Ben. OK, let's try drop zone three. Ooh, Could be nice if it goes flat, because okay. there's a nice flat. gathering between two and three, isn't there? It is yeah. flat, yeah. Excellent. Can you get at that cluster there, Eileen? Oh, oh no, they're not going suddenly to go. you're struggling. Oh, no. Oh, damage so done. Oh. Very close. <laughs> Eileen, you keep control. Time for your third and final question. In which decade of the 20th century was J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings trilogy first published? Oh, it's not a story that I'm familiar with. I've heard of it, yeah. but I've not read it or seen the film, so I am going to pass to Cheryl. Right, Cheryl. Do you know The Lord of the Rings? I do. Um, oh, I'm going to go and say the 40s. 40s? Yeah. OK. Eileen, what would you have said? Pure guess, the 30s. You might have gone back to the far 30s. Let's see, Cheryl, we really need this. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, was it first published in the 40s? Oh, it's the 50s. Oh, it's oh, <laughs> the 50s. Hard luck, Cheryl. Eileen, you get the counter. Um, drop zone three again, then, please, Let's do Ben. It. It's looking good. It is. Far up three. There you oh, go. Oh, that's just where I wanted it. Feels. Bang on, Eileen. Yes. Come on, Eileen, what have we got here? Oh, yeah, fantastic. another lovely cluster. Six counters, £300. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Eileen. And that's going to extend your lead to £2,100. Right, Thank Cheryl, you. time for your third and final question. Released in May 2021, High is a UK top ten album by which Scottish band? I haven't listened to much recently, so... Do you think Eileen I don't has? think Eileen will know this one now, so I'm going to pass it. Right, Eileen. Sorry. <laughs> We're looking for a Scottish band. I have absolutely no idea, and I can't even think of a Scottish band, yeah. um, apart from, you know, my era of the Bay City Rollers, so that's where I'm going. That's quite a comeback, <laughs> isn't it, for the Bay City Rollers in 2021? It would be. I haven't got a clue otherwise. <laughs> Cheryl, did you have any ideas? No, Julius. None? Let's None see if all. you've got no. one last <laughs> counter. Is the answer the Bay City Rollers? <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's not, sadly. <laughs> uh, Texas. It was Texas. Oh, okay. Shines, Terry, and oh, Texas. Okay. Uh, Cheryl, you get the counter. So, one last chance to get some money from the machine. Drop zone two, please, Ben. You can finally get the double. Fire up drop zone two. It's resisted everyone till now. Oh, oh there nice. you go. That would be good. That would be really good, hopefully. It'll push like a few stubborn over. or loyal. And it's down. One goes okay, in. Well done. Spreads nicely. Oh, oh <laughs> just, just short, just short. Just the two, I'm afraid, Cheryl. It was always a tough ask. It's not going to be enough. Let's take £100 from the machine, put it in your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Eileen, very well done with £2,100. You are today's winner. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you. played a great game. Cheryl, Thank you battled really hard, but I'm afraid with £1,050, we have found your tip point. Thank you for playing. Thank you very much. I had a lovely time. Thank you. Eileen, as our champion in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter in the machine. This one's bigger and better than all the others, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Okay. Can Eileen master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Eileen is our winner today and has managed to get £2,100. Well done, Eileen. Thank you. You've bossed the entire show. You've been running <laughs> the show from the minute go. Oh, it's about luck as well, though. A little bit of that, but, you know, you've got to maintain your position. You've got to be able to answer the questions and you've also got to get the drops to fall your way and that's what you've managed to do. There's a big one coming, though, and that's our jackpot counter. If we get that to fall your way and we get it into the win zone, do you know what you might like to do with the money? My husband and I love cruising. Nice. And what we'd really love to do is an Alaskan cruise oh, wow. and then come back along the Rocky Mountaineer. Nice. Come through Canada. Fabulous. What's your husband's name? Selwyn. Selwyn. I'm sure Selwyn is very proud of your performance up to now, Eileen, and would be thrilled if you can get that chatbot counter and we can send you off on that amazing cruise. Be fabulous. That'd be a fabulous adventure. Best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Eileen's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the chatbot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. It's as simple as that. 
Where do you fancy putting that jackpot counter of ours? I like the look of the, the double, but I'm actually going to turn my back on that okay. and go for drop zone four. The shelves look better, and there's a, another mystery, mystery prize. prize there as well. See what we can do. Far up four, please. OK, then, Eileen. Let's get yeah. this jackpot counter in. There you go. Oh, nice. perfect. Doesn't mess That's about, lovely. Does it? Very nice spot. Let's see if we can tighten it up to the edge. Just drags through. There you go. OK. Not quite on the side, but still in a lovely Hi. position. And we can start with five across the tipping point, which is £250. £2,350. Jackpot counter nice and flat, just towards the right of centre of drop zone four. Right, let's have a look at your yeah, end game subjects then, Eileen. Geography, art, TV, sport, royalty and music. You can play them in any order. So where should we start and for how many counters? Well, just go top to bottom. OK. And I'll take geography for three, please. Geography for three. Situated in the Brecon Beacons National Park, Penivan is which type of geographical feature? A lake, a mountain, cave. Ooh. Have you heard of Penivan? I haven't. Um, I know where the Brecon Beacons are. Um, it's a range of hills, mountains, whatever you like to mm -hmm. call them. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to choose mountain. I think. Yeah, we're going mountain. Yeah. Light up mountain, please. please. Do you know of the Brecon Beacons? Not heard of Penavan. Is Penavan a mountain? Yes, well done. The highest peak wow. in South Wales. Fabulous stuff. Great nice. start. Three counters. Drop zone four. All right, drop zone four, please. Follow it up, please. Ah. Oh. Didn't quite get Not to the jackpot, quite. but maybe you can shift a bit of that money and get near the mystery. Yeah. A little nudge on the mystery. Okay. Four again. Okay. Yes, please. Bow down. Ooh, that's better. That's a bit better. Is it going to squeeze it forward? Is it going to slide alongside it? Might just sneak into that position. There you go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're going to cling on. <laughs> One more. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Bow down, please. Slightly right of centre would be great. Oh, well. Never Just mind. Flicked itself left then, <laughs> didn't it? Silver one going to go. Black one goes down. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, get a little nudge on a few. Oh. One counter, oh. two counters yeah. drop in for you. Let's give you £100 for those two. Takes the money up to £2,450. Didn't get to the jackpot counter, but it's OK. We've still got a long way to go. OK. Let's go back to the categories. So, art is next on the list then. I think I'm going for two on okay. art, please. Go art for two, please. In art, the leaf of which of these fruit trees has typically been used to cover certain parts of nude figures? Fig, plum or coconut? Do you know your nudes? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, you do? Yes, that's yes. all right. I, I studied art at school. Did you? And we used to do figure drawing and things like that. But Life drawing? Never, yeah, but never nudes. Oh. It was an all-girls school, never nudes. <laughs> I'm almost certain... It's a fig leaf. Fig leaf? Yes. We're going to go with fig leaf, please. So, the leaf, which of those plants typically covers nudes? Is it the fig leaf? Yeah, yes. of course. You're absolutely right. Two counters here. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Let's have it, please. Well, let's see if we can get some movement on the... Yep. No, not with uh, that one. Heavy settle there, isn't it? It is. Oh, well. Anything coming across the tipping points? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Two drop in. Let's give you £100. £2,550. One more to go in. Uh, drop zone four again, please, Let's Ben. Let's have four, please. Ah, Ooh, that's, that's better. better, isn't it? Yeah. Stay on it, stay on it. Let me shift oh. away. OK, got it moving forward, which is good. OK. OK, let's go back to the categories. Two down, four to go. TV's next. I do watch a fair amount of TV, so I think I might, uh, might go for three on okay. this one. TV for three. Save the cheerleader, save the world is a quote most closely associated with which of these US TV series? Lost, Prison Break or Heroes? I really don't watch any US okay. TV series, so that... 
that really didn't go in my favour, did Have it? Have you heard of those series, Lost, I Prison Break or Heroes? at all. Um, no, I've heard of Lost. I've never watched it. I don't think it's Lost. Um, I can't see that that particular quote would be consistent with Prison Break, so I'm going to take a guess and go for Heroes. Heroes? Yes. Let's do it. We're going with Heroes, please. Save the cheerleader, save the world. Is it a quote from Heroes? Yes. Oh. Thank goodness for it's that. It's all about <laughs> superheroes with superpowers. Fantastic. Right, drop zone four. Right, drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. Come on now. Can we get a little squeeze and Been slide nice. it right behind it would be good. Oh. A little nudge on it, maybe. Oh, no. Okay, just filling that bottom mm. shelf. Two more to go. Four up. Four again, please. Fire it up, please. A little bit further right. Yeah. Let me get it moving. There's quite a stack in front of it as well. Yeah. So. We could do shifting that to be fair. Oh, okay, that's that should not so do. Because that silver one, just a little nudge to take the stack out. Come on. Yeah, please. there we go. Good. Yeah. Couple of drop in. See so if we can get a bit more here. Ooh, oh, lovely. Lovely bit. Eight counters for you. Four hundred pounds. Thank you. Takes us up to two thousand nine hundred fifty pounds. One more to go in. Drop zone four again, please. That drop zone four. It's looking a bit sparse on the top now, though. Yeah, we need one in the hole right we behind do. it, don't we? Let's see if that one will go there. Ah. Ah. Never mind. Not this time, I don't think. No. Okay, maybe that black counter wants to go here. Get close. Getting close. Getting closer. <laughs> Money's gone up nicely. We've got the jackpot counter to the edge of the top shelf. Right, back to the categories. We're halfway. Sport, it depends on whether it's one I like, so I think I'll just go for two on sport, okay, please. Sport ben. for two. In which of these sports is the ball most likely to be hit so that it lands pin high? Golf, tennis, or snooker? I can't recollect ever hearing the term pin high in snooker. Um, I do like to watch tennis and I've not really heard of it in tennis either. Mm -hmm. So I think because golf, you have the pin that's in the hole, et cetera, et cetera, um, I'll choose golf, please. Let's do it. We're going with golf, please. The phrase pin high, is that associated with golf? Yeah, absolutely right. Flag's called the pin when you hit it level with the pin. Fantastic. Well done. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Fire it up, please. Fill this top up a little bit. Oh, that might work if it just mm. wants to sneak left a touch. Mm. Oh, oh. Really close. Really close. Not playing ball, but there we go. Four counter drop in. Let's give you £200. The money's going up nicely. 3150 One more to go in. Drop zone four again, please, Ben. Let's have four, please. That's it. There you there, go. That's fills the gap. Needed. Well done. Right. right. Let's go back to the categories then. Royalty and music. Um, royalty. I'll try three, please. Then. Okay. Royalty for three, please. Given to her in 1944, what was the name of Queen Elizabeth II's very first corgi? Mm -hmm. Cynthia, Susan, or Sharon? Oh, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Can we rule any of them out, do you think? Any of them could could be right. Um, very first corgi. I'm going to guess at Cynthia. Go with Cynthia? Yeah, it's, okay. I've got no basis for it. Seems like the most old-fashioned of those names, doesn't yes. it? Let's go with Cynthia, then. Was the Queen's very first corgi called Cynthia? Oh, it was Susan. It was Susan. She got it for her 18th birthday. Oh, Susan right. the corgi. <laughs> OK, let's go back All to right. the categories. One last one, which is music. I'll try music for two, please. Okay. Music for two, please. Which of these singers has never been a <laughs> member of the group Boyzone? Mikey Graham, Keith Duffy or Liam Payne? Um, I know Keith Duffy has been. He was in Boyzone. Right. And I think 
Liam Payne. The name rings a bell. Um, so I'm going to try Mikey Graham. Mikey? Yes. Should we light please. it up? Yes, please. We're going with Mikey, please. So, three singers. One of them hasn't been in Boy Zone. Was it Mikey Graham? Oh, oh. it's not, no. Liam uh, Payne. The reason oh. you know Liam is he's one of One Direction. Ah, OK. Eileen, I'm so sorry. No. So, look, no, usually at this stage, I would offer you a trade, three counts of what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot count out. Given that the jackpot count is still sitting there on the top shelf, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say. I need yeah. to ask nonetheless, would that take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please, Ben. Lovely stuff. Well done. £3,150. Lovely amount of money. And hopefully it will go some way towards that cruise for you. It certainly will. And your husband. You've also won, of course, your boozy picnic hamper. Oh, yes. Which I'm sure Looking you have great fun of enjoying and exploring. Have you had a good time? I've had a fabulous time, yes. Thank you, Ben. You've been great. Thanks so much, Eileen. Thank you. So there you go. Eileen's in with £3,150. She did great with the questions. We just got a jackpot counter that didn't want to move. And it's been very stubborn sitting there on the top shelf. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.